Hello everybody. So I had a problem. I wanted to get better at GeoGuessr, this Google Maps based game where you have to find where you are on Google Maps based on a street view photo. So as I guess most people have done, I've practiced a lot over the past few months and you can check my channel to see some of my recorded gameplay. But after a while, just like for any sport or instrument you want to master, I reached a plateau and then I required some more study uh, to be able to get a bit better. But now I'm reaching another plateau and practicing multiple games in a row without thinking how to practice is not going to be the solution. So I came up with a solution. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that solution. So I'm going to talk about four things. One, the fact that other people certainly have the same problem. Secondly, how I thought about the solution I came up with. Thirdly, I'll give you a demo of that solution and you can actually use it yourself. And finally, I'll talk about the technology I chose to code this solution in and some final thoughts. So first of all, let's talk about the problem. I'm certainly not the only weirdo on this planet who likes to play Jogessa for hours and hours. And I'm probably not the only one who's reaching a plateau in my knowledge. In fact, if I go on Reddit and I search in the Jogessa subreddit for tips, you can see any Indonesia tips, Norway tip, how do you teleport urban New Zealand from Australia, how to learn utility poles quickly. So clearly there is demand for it over and over again. You have websites we have, which have listed as many bollards and road signs and language signs and street view vehicles that can exist. But it's very tiresome. And honestly, even though I've printed a lot of this and I've tried to memorize it, it gets a bit grueling. And sometimes it's obvious because I already know it. And sometimes I just don't remember because it doesn't come up that often. Um, maybe the closest thing to what I've come up with is what I've noticed on this Discord server that was introduced recently by Rainbolt and his friends. And there's a section here, uh, quiz commands, and you can see where is this sign found? And you can try to answer uh, the question, the quiz, and it tells you, oh, no, this was Cocos Island. Or where are the two digits? What are the two digits for this area in France? And it starts with zero and it's indeed zero two and so on and so forth. So a little bit like the system I came up with, which is a flash card system, except in this case, you can't really choose what to practice on. It just gives you random things from bollards to road signs. And it's fun, but again, the problem is I'm gonna get obvious things like this one. This sign here is an obvious one to me, at least that you find this in Spain. So I don't need to practice this. It's not specific intentional practice. And I don't, I'm waiting my time if I just go and practice things I already know, as opposed to practicing things I don't know. So how did I come to think about creating a flashcard application? Well, a couple of months ago, I was listening to a podcast episode and the guest was a candidate on a game called The Chase. You can go on YouTube, you'll find tons of videos from that game. It's basically a trivia game. And the candidate in that case, who actually in the end became one of the experts um, or the judges, I can't remember uh, whether, you know, the experts, um, was explaining their method for learning trivia. And it was flashcards. And I believe she had about 150,000 flashcards. And I thought, oh, that's exactly what I need. And in fact, it ties to what research has shown that you need to do deliberate practice, deliberate practice to be able to improve your skills. It's not just blind and silly practice of doing things, as I just said, things you already know, it doesn't make sense. So you need to practice on the things you don't know. So what better system than actually choosing the cards that you are not very certain of in terms of solution. So you can keep practicing those ones. There's another article in the New York Times, I think it was early October, 2022, which mentioned how top athletes were actually practicing very gently 80% of the time. And 20% of the time they were conducting deliberate practice, hard, strenuous practice. So again, it ties back to this aspect of, yeah, sure, you can practice gently and do a bit of, a uh, random practice on GeoGuessr uh, whenever you want. But if you really want to get better, you need to spend that small amount of time when you're practicing deliberately the things that you're not very good at. 
So let me show you what I came up with, trying to answer that need I had, and maybe this is a need that many other players may have. So I've called this Memo Jog because it's to jog my memory. So if you go to memojog.com, you can actually play with the app right away. So if I'm not logged in, um, you already have a few flashcards at the bottom just to give you a sense, a demo of what you have. And what you can do is you can press this button here or you can use the space bar to get the solution. So basically you have to guess which country this is in. Uh, or even if you're better uh, trying to guess where in that country, whether it's the Northeast or Southwest. Uh, so in this case, I remember because I've added that flashcard myself. This is Uruguay. Here we go. And the northern part of Uruguay, right? So I can flip back and forth the card and go to the next one. So same thing, I, it was very surprising to me. So I took screenshots as I was playing to try and remember. So this one, I think I got it confused. I thought it was the Sahara and no, not at all. It's in actually the UAE. So that was a great way for me to remember a bit better. So so on and so forth. I've only put 10 cards here. So if you go to the end of my flashcards on the uh, homepage, when you're not logged in, you will get this as the final card. Create your own cards by registering. So it's very easy to register. I'm already registered, it's free. Um, so in this case, I'm just gonna log in. You can log in with Google, by the way, or Twitter or Facebook, if you have an account. In this case, I'm gonna use my account. And here I go, and you can see in the menu right away in the top right corner, you have a bunch of new links that came here. It went straight to practice time. So in this case, I'll have all my flashcards. And I think about I have about 50 of them, and I can practice. So let me give you a quick demo. So I can just you know, carry on with the, with the guesses here. So I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, this is maybe Canada, maybe Northeast, let's see. And no, it's not Canada, it's actually South United States. So clearly I got it wrong. So what I can do here, what I've coded is, you can see this plus sign here. And if you hover over it, it says see more often. So this will add a weight on that card to make sure that I see it a bit more often than others because I estimate that I'm gonna get hundreds, thousands of flashcards so I wanna make sure that this card, since I got it wrong, I'm gonna see it more often. Automatically it switches to the next card. Okay, so this one, again, we have yellow lines. So this could probably be uh, the Americas, maybe South America, let's say, you know, Argentina. Although it's a bit, maybe Northern Argentina. And no, this is Russia. Um, again, I got it wrong. Let me add a plus one to this one. Uh, this one, I remember, I think, it has this little tape on the antenna of the Street View car. So it's usually either Czechia or in this one, in this case, I believe this is Bulgaria next to Plodiv, I believe. Um, and here we go, this is Plodiv where I put my marker during the game and this is actually a bit Eastern from Plodiv. So this one, I'm fairly confident I don't need to practice that often. I can use the next button, which is the minus square, which is to say, see less often. And so on and so forth, I can keep practicing. And this is what's the cool thing is I can choose to practice a specific section, let's say a specific category. Let's say I want to practice bollards only. Here we go. I have a bollard here. I think this is a Peruvian one. Let's see, let's check the solution. Indeed, it is in Peru. Okay, I can go to the next card. What is this bollard? It's you know yellow and black. I've seen this in the game. I don't remember exactly. Maybe this is, I don't know, maybe Thailand? Not too sure. No, Timor-Leste. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna add a plus and go to the next card. This is Malaysia. Here we go, and so forth. So as you can see, I can practice a subset of countries, categories, whether it's Street View vehicles, languages, and so forth. Um, or I can just go and practice everything. So let me um, do one more thing here. And that's, let's say I've made a mistake. This is not Thailand, or it's not uh, a bollard. I just want to change this. I can edit. This is the next one here, next button, the yellow button. And I go in edit mode. You can see the front of the card and the back of the card. So if I just change the text, uh, let's say, I can add whatever here, guess the country. I guess that's a appropriate one. You can see already what would the card look like. I can update the flash card and that's it, it's done. The card is updated. So I'm gonna remove this, delete and update the flash card. Boom, it's as simple as this. Let me go back to practice. Um, I think this is Latvia or Estonia. Latvia, yeah. So as I wanna delete this card because whatever, I don't wanna keep it anymore. Um, I can press the delete button logically. And in this case, I have a confirmation dialog box just to make sure I'm not deleting things by accident. So I'm gonna press cancel and that's about it. If I go to the add section uh, of the flash card, I can add some text at the front, text at the back of the card and the front image, the back image, and I can select same thing, country, category and subcategory to add the flash card. So let me just uh, do an example here, guess the country, 
uh, I'm gonna say some random text here on the back of the card, some random text, and I'm gonna select a country, Bahrain, guardrails, and add the flashcard. So here we go. I guess the country, obviously I don't have any image in this case, and this is the back. Um, so I can edit this and I can change whatever I want. So let's say now I want to delete that card. I can go to the search area so I can search through the flashcards by searching by text or I can select the country. So let's search by text. I typed some random text. So random, here we go. It found the text on the back and here I can delete the flashcard forever right away. So I can delete, I can reset, can delete the text here and I can see all the flashcards I have added. And if I click on it, I have the solution everywhere else. So that's about it. Um, I don't think there's much more to add. Oh yes, you can upload the front image here. It's just a simple search through. So let's do that right away. I've, let's launch a game and say, okay, I have no idea where this is. I'm just gonna take a screenshot. This is the way I usually do it. I'm gonna put my guess randomly, guess. And it was actually in Serbia. So I would zoom in here. Here we go, take a screenshot of that and then go back to my app and I'm gonna upload the front image. So I'm gonna have the front image, which is where I wanna guess where this is. This is the solution. This country was Serbia. Here we go. Um, and it was just general vegetation, I guess, or you could put scenery. Here we go. You can add the flashcard and here we go. So if I flip the card, I have exactly what I've uploaded with my screenshots. I can delete the card right away. It's as simple as clicking this button with this confirmation button. And here you go. You can add as many flashcards as you want. So you have search to search through all the flashcards. Um, you have the add uh, button and the practice uh, where you can reload to get different orders for your practice set. So let's talk about the technical aspects of it. So I've been using Vue.js as the JavaScript framework and the backend is actually Firebase. And for the CSS, for the user interface, it's Bootstrap. So a combination of Vue.js, Firebase and Bootstrap. The interesting aspect of it is for now, because there are not many users, it's completely free apart from the domain name that I had to register, memojog.com. The, all the rest is completely free for the time being. That's why I'm not putting any ads whatsoever. There is no fee to try the website. So I can see the system actually being useful for any other type of learning practice. It doesn't have to be Google Maps or GeoGuessr based. It could be for the classroom if you want to practice history or maths or physics or chemistry, or whatever it is. So I'm thinking as an extra feature in the, in the future uh, to be able to change the type of categories that you see at the beginning. So instead of countries and category, you would have topics. So you can choose maths. Um, if you register as a new user, you can choose, oh, I want to do my own category. So you would define them. So that's maybe in the future. Or if you tell me, oh, this, this would be useful. So in conclusion, nothing replaces practice except deliberate practice. And I hope that you're convinced as much as I am that using your custom flashcards and emphasizing the ones that are not the easiest for you to guess is the best way to practice and to get better at Google Maps and to get better at GeoGuessr in this case. Thanks for watching. Bye.